good morning students welcome back to our maths class so students in our today's class i'll be starting a new lesson that is chapter number 6 about time so in our today's class we are going to learn about time all right children so in our previous class what we have learned we have completed our multiplication chapters okay we have completed addition and subtraction we have completed multiplication now in our today's class we'll be learning about time the topic which i'm going to start in our today's class is reading and writing time how to read and write time right so the objective to recall the information about the hour hand and minute hand as you children you know how many hands are there in a clock we know two hour hand and the minute hand that we are going to recall the parts right then we are going to learn how to read the time and how to write the time okay so that things we are going to learn in our today's class so children let's start our today's class so children the topic is reading and writing time as i told you right now so look at here i've drawn one clock okay look at this and this clock you can see okay numbers are from 1 to 12 on its face or we call it dial of the dial the face of the clock we call it dial or we simply call it the face from 1 to 12 now in this clock you are showing two hands one is pointing to 2 another one is pointing to 12 the shorter one we call it what our hand right the shorter one we call it what our hand and the long hand is called minute hand as i have written the long hand is called minute hand and the short hand is called our hand so short hand is pointing to which number 2 and the long hand is pointing to 12 that means what is the time the time is 2 o'clock Two hour. We call it how we read. We call it two o'clock, or we call it what two hour, right? So the longer end shows minute, minute end, and the short end we call it hour end. Clear, children? Now the face of the clock we call it dial. So here you see time showing two o'clock. The long end is called the minute end, and the short end is called the hour end. Shows on the clock. It has numbers from one to twelve on its face. One to twelve on its face. Now, children, here we can see that between twelve and one. I'll show you between twelve and one. You can clearly see that there are four lines. One, two, three, four. Again, from between one and two, there are four lines. One, two, three, four. This part. Talking about this part. Okay, four lines. they divide the space between two consecutive numbers right into five equal parts if 12 starts zero then one represent what five then two comes 10 three comes 15 4 20 5 25 6 30 half past 7 35 Eight, forty, nine, forty-five, ten, fifty, and eleven, fifty-five. You can see here told between twelve and one there are four lines. Again, from between one and two there are four lines. This indicates what they divide the space between two consecutive numbers into five equal parts. See five, ten. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. Here, here, sixty. So, each division between these consecutive numbers, each division between these consecutive numbers, indicates a minute. Indicates what? It indicates minute. Now, the clock is showing what is the time? Clock is showing two o'clock. Right. Our hand is pointing at two, and the minute hand is pointing to twelve. 
if the mini time will point it to 1 then the timing will change to how much it will be 2 5 it will be how much 2 5 or 5 minutes past 2 we can say like this 2 5 or we can say that 5 minutes past 2 and children this is a 12 hour clock format I am teaching you here right children the next is does this 60 divisions here you see 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 these 60 divisions makes what one hour or we call it 60 minutes these 60 divisions make what one hour or we call it 60 minutes clear children so here it written i have written here 60 divisions together make 60 minutes or one hour Right now the timing is showing 2 o'clock. The minute hand shows what minutes and takes 1 hour. 1 turn in 1 hour. Minute hand takes 1 turn. Minute hand takes 1 turn in 1 hour. Now it is 2 o'clock. After 1 hour it will be how much? 3 o'clock. Then you count after 1 hour it will be 4 o'clock. So the minute hand shows minutes and takes one turn in one hour. So this is how we read and write time. Right. Now the clock showing what? 2 o'clock. If the minute hand pointed to 1, it comes to 5 or 5 minutes past 2. Clear children? So how many divisions are there? How many divisions make the 60 minutes or 1 hour? 60 divisions. The difference from 12 to 1 that 4 parts or we call it what? 4 lines or from 1 to 2, 4 lines. This represents what? Minutes. This represents what? Minutes. Understood children? Now, nearest to our hand, hand minutes and Nearest to hour and minutes, when the mini time is in any one of the numbers on the clock, we have learned that things. Right. Now, if that hour hand pointed to 10 and mini time pointed to 12, it comes how much? What is the timing? It's 10 o'clock. If both the hands will be at 12, it shows what? 12 o'clock, maybe 12, 12 noon or 12 midnight. Right. So, this is how... You have to read the time. Dear children, so the uh, how many parts it is divided? Clock. How many numbers? So one in a in a dial of the clock in a face of the clock. How many parts are there? Twelve parts are there. Between two consecutive numbers, how many? Uh, lines are there four lines that represent what that represent minutes and it's did that and that, that that represents 60 divisions and that 60 divisions together make 60 minutes or one hour understood children clear yeah. so next we are going to learn how to read the time and then 12 hour clock format right so children as I told you I'm explaining the 12 hour clock format so in 12 hour clock format the hour hand of the clock goes around the clock face the hour hand of the clock goes around the clock face okay face or we call it dial twice in 24 hours so in a uh, 12 hour clock format the hour hand do what the hour hand of the clock, this is the, in this hour hand pointing to, towards 2 or pointing to 2. The hour hand of the clock goes around the clock face, goes around the clock face. The, we call it dial twice in 24 hours. Twice in 24 hours. From here to 12, again it will continue. How many, so how many times? Twice, twice in 24 hours the hour hand of the clock goes around. The next is. To identify morning or evening in 12 hour clock format, 
to identify morning or evening, we write AM or PM along with the time. AM stands for anti-meridian or PM stands for prime meridian. Right. To identify morning or evening in 12-hour clock format, we write AM or PM along with the timing. If it is morning 7, we write it what? 7 a.m. If it is uh, evening 5, we write it what? 5 p.m. Right children? So, to identify the morning and evening in 12-hour clock format, we write what? Along with the time, we write what? A.m. or p.m. A.m. denotes anti-meridian and p.m. prime meridian. Okay? So, just now I give you example. So, this is how we do our time shows in a 12-hour clock format. I hope it is clear to you all the topic which I have discussed with you all in our today's class about the reading and writing time. How to read and write time in 12-hour clock format. Right, children? I have explained to you uh, which hand represent our hand, which one is minute hand, then how many divisions are there in a clock face, then those four lines represent what? It represents minutes, okay? And it's divided into how many parts? It is 60 divisions are there. And that 60 division together makes what? One hour or 60 minutes. Right, children? That when then we have learned in 12 hour clock format, the hour end of the clock uh, goes around the clock face or dial twice in 24 hours, means two times. And to identify morning or evening, we write what? AM or PM along with the time. I hope you have cleared the 12 hour clock format. In our next class, we'll be learning about a 24 hour clock format along with the bit introduction of 12 hour clock format. Right children? So thank you.